Welcome back. I'm Erica Fernandez. I'm joined here this morning by Jeffrey Mindock, who is the Artistic Director from Thunder Bay Theatre. Jeffrey, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. Last week we talked a little bit about the show Dial M for Murder that is starting this week. So Absolutely. tell me, are you guys, how's the show going? Are you guys ready for opening night? Yeah, it's going really well. Last night we had our first dress rehearsal and we'll have uh, our final dress rehearsal this evening and uh, the show is going very, very well. Good. Uh, last night as I was watching the show and taking notes, I kind of had a few moments where I felt out of myself oh. and just like was able to enjoy the show and be amazed at what we were pulling off. So uh, we've put a lot of spectacle into the show with the lights and our sound effects. We mm -hmm. actually have a uh, uh, an individual who composed an original score for the play oh, wow. uh, who was with us a few, uh, last year. Okay. Uh, so we're very excited about that and uh, it's all really coming together and I think it's going to be a really uh, fantastic evening of entertainment. Great. For and so there's a lot of creativity involved in it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Last week we talked a little bit about the concept yeah. and uh, like I said about tech rehearsal so that's mm -hmm. kind of where the concept comes to fruition or falls apart okay. and uh, it's definitely been uh, lifted up and the technicians over at Thunder Bay Theater are uh, pulling pulling all the stops out so I'm excited for people to come see the show. Alright well sounds great so why should audience members come out and see Dial in for Murder? Sure well uh, it's a classic you know it is uh, the script is like I said so close to the movie. So I've already had people calling the theater and being like, I can recite the entire movie to you right now if you need me to. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> but I don't need that. Uh, <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's a show that everybody's going to be able to uh, connect with, whether they, they know it from before or they're just looking for an exciting new murder mystery. Because uh, the way that the play is written is that you have to follow along with everything that is said so that you don't miss anything at the end. Okay. And uh, it does a really great job of guiding the audience along the way okay. so that I don't think that you really know what's going to happen, unless you know the movie, oh, okay. uh, of what's going to happen. Uh, it's just exciting. It's suspenseful. Uh, the acting is really solid, you know, um, with the professional actors from all over the country, as it should be. Yeah. So uh, there's lots of reasons to come see the show. All right. So just go out and see it. Yeah, basically. exactly. All right. Exactly. So aside from the show going on, as if you didn't already have enough on your hands, are there anything, are there special events going on during the playing of the well, show? Well, as is the case with all of our shows at Thunder Bay Theater, uh, Thursday night, which is opening night, mm -hmm. right after the show at Thunder Bay Winery, we're having an opening night reception oh. where all of the patrons, whether they see the show that night or not, can come down and meet and greet the cast, talk to them about their performance, and uh, get to know everyone a little bit better. It's a really fun event that usually, I mean, the winery usually will stay open for us until about midnight. So it's oh, a really wow. great chance to support the theater, support the winery, and uh, kind of bring our community together in another fun way. And then next Thursday, which is November 5th, uh, right after the show, we're having a talk back and those are our Talk Back Thursdays where uh, the cast and crew and myself will come right back out on stage after the show is over and talk to the audience about what they just saw and a little bit more about our concept yeah. and how everything came together. So yeah. it's another cool, free way to uh, get to see a little bit more behind-the-scenes action at Thunder yeah. Bay Theater. And it gives the community a way to interact with the actors as well. Absolutely. Awesome. And that's kind of what we're trying to do more so throughout uh, you know, my time here is really give back to the community and you know, for those folks who are interested in finding yeah. out what it really means to... Yeah. Yeah. you know, have theater as a day job, what that means. Yeah, so after opening night, is the excitement gone? Is the thrill gone? Anxiety gone? What happens afterwards? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, that's actually our job, is to make sure that we're bringing that excitement and that intensity every single night. Uh, in the theater world, we call that the, uh, the, the willing suspension of the first time. Like, that's our job, is to make sure that it's the same every single night. But uh, with that being said, the way that Thunder Bay Theater works is we are right into the next production, which is Grease with the Alpena yes. High School Maskers. Right. So, uh, uh, as soon as our show opens on November 1st, the maskers get to come into the theater and we start rehearsals for Grease, which is uh, an overwhelming and exciting, uh, you know, thing to be doing. I mean, Grease right. during yeah. Christmas time. Sounds awesome. Well, a dial-in for murder sounds really exciting and suspenseful, and I actually plan on checking it out myself. Well, so go out and get your tickets today. Opening night is Thursday night, right? Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Jeffrey, so much for being here. Thanks for having me.